Well, we've got a lot of great talent in this area, as you know, in the Northwest. And this month, we're going to be introducing you to some great examples as all 12 semifinalists from Evening Magazine's You've Got Talent competition perform live on our show. So first up is a contestant from Linwood who's also known as the Queen of Ivory Soul. She would say the Queen of Ivory Soul, baby. Here to perform Respect, this is Mae Palmer. To me, suck it to me, suck it to me, suck it to me part. Not bad, not That's bad. The part that I remember, the only part I can actually kind of do. That's right. So, have you been singing all your life? Yes, I started singing when I was nine years old. But you know, what, Margaret, there's one thing I got to tell you. I got to tell the folks out there and by television, thank you so much for voting for me and getting me on this couch. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. I really appreciate that. You need to know, the queen is grateful. <laughs> And did somebody encourage you as an adult to really pursue this? Because this wasn't something you did your It was my father. My your father. Dad. You know, I come from mixed uh, parentage. My father's black and my mom's white. And my father, he encouraged me to sing. My mother was very supportive as well. So you put that kind of together, and that's where the ivory soul comes. Oh, where did we get that picture from? Hello. <laughs> oh, no, you didn't, Margaret. <laughs> no. No. We have a crack <laughs> research team here at New Day. So now you're out there looking to be discovered. I have a feeling you're going to be. How did you feel when you got the call that you were one of the, the finalists for the show? What took him so damn long? <laughs> <laughs> that, honestly, what took him so damn long? I mean, that's really basically what I was thinking. I mean, I knew I had it. When I sang and I was in the zone, just like you, you know, you have your good days and your bad days, but sometimes you have, like, really good days. So in this case, I just knew that I had it, and I just said, okay, you know, they're going to be showing me on Evening Magazine the day after Thanksgiving, right. and boom, there I was, in all my 
Ivory Soul Glory. That's right. Yes. That's right. May we cannot thank you enough. Break a leg and good thank luck. You. And thank you for starting us off. You can watch a repeat of today's performance on Evening Magazine tomorrow night at 7 p.m. because one rendition of May is not enough. So. That's right. But they can catch me at Sojourn Cellars in Everett. I'm doing a big show on the 14th and 15th of this month. You need to be at Sojourn Cellars. Check them out on the internet, SojournCellars.com. We've got a fan appreciation party and their first year anniversary. It's going to be phenomenal. You and know we what want we'll do? There. We'll put that on our website yes. as well. So we'll get those details yes. and make sure Woo! that you can do that. Then in the audience right there, too. Margaret, there they are. Stand up. Stand up. Where are you? There they are. Jennifer Jensen and Max. Way, Way to go, go guys. Yeah. Way to go. Wow. I think I'm awake now. I'm awake. Tune yeah. in tomorrow on New Day when a belly dancing group from Everett shows us why they've got talent. We'll see how everything stacks up, but... Stacks up? I'm yeah. just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the winner of this evening's... Something, something happened over here. Don't yeah. worry about it. The winner of evening's You've Got Talent competition will win a trip to Las Vegas, the chance to perform on stage at a major Vegas show and a guaranteed spot to audition for NBC's America's Got Talent. So good luck to all. Break a leg there, May. Thank you. When we come back, a breakthrough in the international murder case involving former UW student Amanda Knox. Some legal experts are saying it could lead to her conviction being overturned. We're going to talk to her dad next. Stay tuned.